welcome again to my channel. <laughs> so, yeah. We're still on loss of exponents. Pero ngayon, pag-usapan natin ang second law. Okay, division law na tayo. Let's start. Um, x raised to m over x raised to n is equal to x raised to m minus n. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito, yung m at saka yung n is sinusubtract lang natin sa division law. Where x is a non-zero real number and m and n are positive integers. So, subtract lang. Example, even is x raised to 6 over x raised to 2. Who are we going to simplify this using the division law? Is to copy the common base. Pa din. Yan. Copy natin yung common base x. And then, sabi doon, sa division law daw, we need to subtract the exponents. So, 6 minus 2. The answer is 4. Or, final answer natin, x raised to 4. Ganun lang kasimple. Okay? Another example. Miss 8 y raised to 4 over 2 y cube. Now, in our example, meron na tayong numerical coefficients greater than 1. So, additional step lang, we need to divide or simplify the numerical. So, if the numerator is divisible by the denominator, i-divide natin. Pero pag hindi divisible, um, isi-simplify lang lang natin siya. Pero pag hindi kayang masimplify, edi wala tayong babaguhin dun sa numerical natin. Okay? And then, copy the common base. So, gawin muna natin. Is 8 divisible by 2? Pwede ba? Hmm, 8 divided by 2. Kalahatiin lang natin 4. So, 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4. Ayan na. Dinivide na natin. Kasi divisible. And then, copy doon the common base or yung y natin. So, sulat lang natin yung y. And then, subtract the exponents. 4 minus 3. The answer is 1. So, ibig sabihin ng final answer natin, numerical natin, tingin ng 4 and yung y, automatic, pag 1 ang exponent, hindi na yun nilalagay. So, this is our final answer. Next, third example. Third given. This 12x cubed over 8x squared y raised to 7. As you can see, um, combination of two different variables na siya, tapos yung 12 and 8, um, kung makapapansin nyo, hindi siya divisible. Ngayon, ang steps natin, kung sabi, divide or simplify. Kapag hindi divisible, isi-simplify lang natin. So, kunin muna natin yung 12 divide or over 8. So, since hindi divisible, hanap tayo ng pinakamataas na number na pwedeng makadivide sa 12 and 8. And that's 4. Tama? GCF niyan, 4. So, divide by 4, the answer is 3. And Divided by 4, the answer is 2. So, this is our numerical fraction siya. Fraction form yan. Kukunin natin yung variable na parehas. Common. Ang common natin yung x. So, magiging x raised to 3 minus 2, the answer is 1. Okay? And then, yung y raised to 7 natin dito sa baba, wala siyang kaparehas dito sa taas. So, ibig sabihin, mananatili lang siya doon sa pwesto niya. So, gawin natin, sulat natin ang final answer. Lagay natin yung 3 dito, tsaka yung 2, since 3 over 2 yan. And then yung x natin sa taas, kasi positive yan. Sa so, susunod na video, i-explain ko kung bakit sa taas siya. Okay? At hindi sa baba. Positive. And then yung y raised to 7 ay nanatili sa baba kasi wala naman siyang kamay no san dito. Kamay no san? Sa taas. So, kakapi lang natin yun. And this is now our final answer x over 2y raised to 7. Next, let's solve math like a boss. Let's try this. Given is 5x cubed y raised to 8, z raised to 6, all over 3x squared y cubed z. So, paano natin ito isosolve? Una, alamin muna natin kung divisible ba si 5 and 3 by, by 3. No. We simplify 5 over 3, no then. Bakit? Kasi, um, wala nang pwedeng makadivide sa kanila except 1. So, sa final answer natin, we get na fraction bar, dito, tas 3, automatic na yan. And then, kunin muna natin yung mga pare-parehas na variable, yung x, magkakaroon tayo ng 3 minus 2, tama? Kasi 3, 
plus 2. Yan yun. And then yung y natin, so meron tayong 8 at saka 3. So 8 minus 3. Map. And then yung z natin, um, this is 6. And the exponent of this variable is 1. Automatic, walang exponent, it's 1. So z raised to 6 minus 1. So lang natin to, uh, magiging x raised to 1, um, y raised to 5, and z raised to 5. Itlag na natin. So since pare-parehas na positive yung, yung result ng exponent, so dito siya lahat sa taas. Na lang siya, y raised to 5, z raised to 5. So ayusin natin yung final answer. So magiging 5x, y raised to 5, z raised to 5, over 3. na. And this is our final answer. Okay? May isa pang example. This is 16x cubed z raised to 6 over 6x squared y cubed. So, gawin natin, since hindi divisible ang 16 to 6, is simplify natin. So, 16 over 6, they are both divisible by 2. Okay? So, pag divide natin, 16 divided by 2 is 8. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. Ibig sabihin sa final answer natin, meron tayong 8 over 3. Lagay tayo ng ito 8. And then, and then in natin, dito tayo. So, x raised to 3 minus 2. Ito yon 3 minus 2 since division law. And then, yung y natin walang kapareha sa taas. So, mananatili siyang y. At yung z natin walang kapareha sa baba. So, ibig sabihin, mananatili siyang z. So, yung x natin raised to 3 minus 2, magiging x raised to 1 na siya, or 1. Ito so sa taas siya. And, yung z natin kanina, ito, ay mananatili siya sa taas kasi hindi na, wala siyang kapare sa baba. Doon siya nakalagay, so doon siya. And yung y natin dito ay ilalagay natin doon sa kung saan pwesto siya kanina sa baba. y raised to Hindi naman natin na-apply yung division doon sa kanila dahil wala silang kaparehas. So, ang final answer natin ay ayan na po, 8x z raised to 6 all over 3y cubed. Yan ang final answer. Okay, thank you. And if you are new to my channel, just like and subscribe. <laughs> Charla. Bye!